Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, An Ode to Fiction. Today is a sunny, sunny day in Canada, and I'm enjoying a good cup of coffee. Hi everyone, my name is Leah, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a vlog. It, it is a vlog that I filmed when I was in Toronto around a couple of weeks ago. Um, in this vlog, I went to the Ripley's Aquarium and then I went to uh, three bookstores. So it's going to be like a book shopping with me sort of aquarium s vlog. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, this is my first time filming a vlog. I really had fun the whole time. And stay tuned for a mini book haul at the end of the video. Do you like the jellies? I, I like the jellies. I like the jellies. Stingrays? Not Stingray. bad. Stingrays not bad. Yeah. Sharks? 
very fun. They have a lot of them. Yeah, I One like the sharks. Five. I like the sharks. Yeah. Didn't see moray though. No mores. That's sad. Yeah, that's tough. Okay, now we're getting sushi. Sushi! Sushi time. So the first store we went to, it's called Baca Phoenix Books. It's located at Harvard Street. It's Toronto's oldest science fiction and fantasy bookstore. They have a range of adult, young adult, middle grade science fiction and fantasy books. Um, they have like shelves from top to bottom filled with books. I was very excited to go to this store because I read a lot of fantasy and science fiction. In Indonesia, you can't find a bookstore like this. So I was very, very happy that I could find like a bookstore that specialized in a genre that I love. The employees were so nice. Um, even though I was like a nervous wreck, I couldn't even talk to them because I was just like stunned by the amount of books on the bookshelves. When I was there, I was looking for like books that I <laughs> oh, you hear the cat, that's Walter. Yeah, hey, Walter. Meow. Walter, meow. <laughs> um, I wanted to buy everything on the shelves and I I held myself back though and I decided to pick up a couple of books from Baka Phoenix. Anyway, enjoy the B-roll. So the second location is BMB Books. Um, they are a second-hand bookstore. Um, they have three locations in Toronto, but the one I went to is on Bloor Street. The BMB Books first opened its stores in 1997. It is a second-hand bookstore. Um, they have three locations. Um, the location that I went to is actually their biggest store. Um, their basement level, um, they display a lot of vinyls, more like music and movies and such. Um, and then the main floor, they sell books, um, all kinds of fiction and literary fiction, um, and then a lot of novels, also mystery novels, romance, etc.
and then the second floor they have a lot of resource books I think um, cookbooks fashion books um, history books etc they also have like a few shelves of young adult novels and also middle grade novels third floor they have comic books and manga The third bookstore that I went to is a chain bookstore. It's kind of like the Barnes and Noble of Canada, which is Indigo's. Um, um, the Indigo's that I went to is in is located in a pretty major street. It's a pretty big Indigo's um, compared to the one that I go to. Um, it has a couple. Of, I think it has like three floors, but it was pretty nice going to this Indigo's. Um, they have more books than the one that I usually go to. Just because it's Indigo's, their displays are like almost the same in every store. The thing I like about going to Indigo's is that new book smell. You just smell it in the air, you know? Um, and then I bought one book from Indigo's. So now to the fun part, uh, my book haul. So I got a total of three books. So I'll show the first book that I, the first two books that I got is from Baca Phoenix. So I picked up a copy of Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett. And the next one is City of Stairs by, also by Robert Jackson Bennett. So when I was in the store, I was debating if I should buy this series or this series. Um, I haven't started both, um, but I'm very interested in reading both series. I even borrowed a copy from the library, but I wasn't in the mood to read it. And I decided to return it. And now I'm very committed since I already bought a copy. So I'm very happy about these two. And look at these beauties. Thank you, Vaga Phoenix, for this. Um, yeah, can't wait to read these. I didn't pick up any books from BMV Books, uh, but I did pick up from a copy at Indigo's, and it is Emily Henry's new book, Book Lovers. I read all of Emily Henry's books, Beach Read and People We Meet at people we meet on vacation. Um, I read that book last year. I really loved it because it reminds me a lot of the movie Love, Rosie. If you haven't watched that movie, that movie basically is people we meet on vacation. And when I heard about this and I was like, yes, I'm just gonna buy it because I loved the last book so much. I really wanted to read this one. Um, so I'm very happy that I could pick up a copy because this is like a new release It was a bit cheaper than the normal price because it's a popular book. So I'm very happy. I picked it up. So yeah That's all the books I got from my Toronto Aquarium 
will call um this will not be the last video i do on indie bookstores in toronto i will probably hit up a lot more indie bookstores and i want to go to every bookstore and i want to explore what they have and i want to see their selection so if you like this type of videos please like and comment maybe subscribe um follow me on all my socials i hope you have a great day love you bye